Good morning. It's Tuesday, August the 4th. The question has been around for generations. It's been asked by the rich and by the poor. Nearly everyone hearing this devotion has asked it or been asked it. What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> I was asked it many times as a child. There's still people who, the ones who know me anyway, still ask me what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> I asked a boy this question about two weeks ago. Later, I thought, you know, I wonder what God wants him to be. Maybe that's the question I should be asking. In my life, I went from wanting to be a policeman to a fishing guard, guide to being a history professor. Through high school and college, I wanted to be a history professor. They were all something that I wanted. As a student in Bible college, I began searching for what God wanted. Let me illustrate with a true story. A 38-year-old scrub woman would go to the movies and think, oh, if I had her looks, I could be somebody. She'd listen to a popular singer and think, oh, if only I had her voice. One day she was given a book entitled The Magic of Believing. After she read it, she stopped comparing herself to others. What did she have? Well, she remembered her high school days that she had a reputation for being the funniest girl around. And so, she decided to turn her liabilities into assets. Even years ago, she would make a million dollars a year. She wasn't good looking and couldn't sing. In fact, her voice was awful. But Phyllis Diller could make people laugh. So, Maybe we should begin asking children, what does God want you to be when you grow up? And not just children. How about you today? What does God want from you when you get up today? Now stop and think about that.